Hello, welcome you all to Aukbao. I am sure you all are aware of the combined recruitment test for various chemistry related posts in different central government organizations was conducted on 1st April 2023. It was of 300 marks and 120 questions were there, which implies that every correct answer will fetch you positive 2.5 marks, whereas each wrong answer will cost you minus 0.83 marks, which is one third of the 2.5. Now this particular exam has only three kinds of posts which are applicable for MSc students who are freshers. One is 22 posts of assistant chemists in Geological Survey of India. Among those 22 posts, if we divide category wise, then 9 seats were for unreserved candidates, 2 are for EWS, 6 for OBC, 3 for SC and 2 for ST candidates. The second advertisement which was applicable for MSc Freshers candidates was 1 post of Assistant Chemist in Central Ground Water Board that is CGWB and that one post was assigned to UR. And in the third category, there was again 6 posts advertised from Geological Survey of India for Assistant Chemist. Among those 6 posts, 5 are for unreserved and 1 is for OBC. So there are total 29 posts for MSc Chemistry candidates, which I think is a good opportunity. But the problem was with the syllabus. The syllabus, if you notice carefully, among these 10 topics, only thermodynamics, carbon compounds, quantitative analysis, and some parts of polymer. These were from actual chemistry portion. The others were completely from chemical engineering or engineering chemistry. The reason for this kind of syllabus is for GSI assistant chemist posts, both MSc chemistry students and BTEC chemical engineering students were eligible as per UPSC. On the basis of written exam performance, some candidates will be called for interview. But the weightage of written exam to interview is 3 is to 1, that is 75% to 25%. The written exam was of 300 marks, so the interview will be of 100 marks. And the final merit list will be based on how much a student is getting in total 400 marks. So at first, let's discuss the probable answer keys of that question paper. This is for question booklet number A. And please don't fall for these tick marks. These tick marks were already there when I found it in the internet. So the first question is, for which of the following minerals is India the major world producer supplying 80% of world output? The answer will be mica. The next question is about nuclear source of energy. It will be both 1 and 2, option B. The third question is, the answer will be alkylation. For question number 4, Reciprocating pumps are generally used in industries for metering and proportioning. Next, the oldest process used to separate heavy minerals from lighter gangs are jigging. Then question number 6, it will be contact process. Question number 7 will be fused electrolyte. For seawater contact, the type 5 sulphate resistant portlet cement is used generally. For foam formation, the answer will be sodium tripolyphosphate or STPP. During Second World War, to control body lice, DDT was used. The two principal methods of tanning will be vegetable and chrome tanning. For the BOD related question, first option will be the right answer. Structural modification in straight run gasoline will be reforming. Next will be N hexadecan having highest CTN number. Tetraethyl lead is added to gasoline to increase its anti knocking properties. N heptane has zero octane number. Or set apparatus is used for analysis of these gases. The correct knocking tendency order will be option B. Cracking of heavy oil is option D. Power alcohol is nothing but 5 to 20 percent ethyl alcohol with gasoline or petrol. Fraction of crude oil having <coughs> fraction of crude oil having the lowest boiling point is gasoline or petrol. In Fischer trough synthesis, CO plus H2 or water gas is used. This will be Burgess method. Sodium plumbite will be the right answer. This is used in doctor's test. Next will be conduction. The heat flux will be 1.91, the first option. When the radiation strikes a surface, 
specular and diffuse radiation emits next will be lumped heat capacity this is molality fick's law is for molecular diffusion level the answer for next numerical question will be the first option by the way i am not giving any explanation behind any of this but you can trust my answers up to a level even for the numericals because all the questions along with the numericals like this one and the previous one this i found exact those questions in google books and if you feel any answers of these questions i have ticked the wrong option then you can always let me know in the comment section so anyway for 32 number option d will be the right option macabe method is used to compute the number of theoretical plates or ideal plates for 34 option b will be the correct choice for 35 bubble tree should be the right option for 36 it is option c both 1 and 3 37 should be methyl methacrylate plexi glass is pmma polymethyl methacrylate 38 option d is the radical free radical inhibitor 39 has the right option a in case of 40 the right option will be flexible soft and rubbery state once the glass transition temperature is crossed then for 41 fevicol has the monomeric unit in the form of ester next will be polyamide volatile oxide film leading to rapid corrosion will be molybdenum highest pbr pilling bedworth ratio will be of tungsten oxide next will be galvanic corrosion for 46 the correct option will be spraying next is dry corrosion caustic embrittlement in boilers is an example of stress corrosion oxochrome option a should be the right option then question number 50 it will be bathochromic shift in potentiometric titrations we plot electrode potential versus concentration it is in the form of sigmoid curve in ph meter combination electrode we use are calomel electrode and glass electrode in case of 54 the right option should be option a 55 the right option is mole per liter that is option a for 56 the right option should be ba beryllium sorry barium 57 agcl is the right option 58 the right option should be d three enamel signals one can get from this compound the chromatography we use is normally reverse phase chromatography so non polar polar will be the right option for 61 a should be the right option for 62 d is right but here is a confusion the question asked for rock forming mineral the answer should be the correct option should be silicate and minerals having silicate structure belong to feldspar group so either the correct option will be c or d for 63 metamorphic rock should be the right answer for making rock wool the main constituent should be basalt next is 65 the correct option should be option d then for determination of gold and silver in ores option c scorification assay should be the correct answer for 67 option b should be the correct option then next the calorific value of a gaseous fuel is determined by junkers calorimeter by the way in this case boys calorimeter is also a correct option because in the net i have found both these are used for gaseous fuels now which is for dry gas exactly and which is for fuel gas i am not sure about so option will be either option a or option c question number 69 the answer should be option c anthracite then for ultimate analysis of coal option d is the correct option d is the correct option then carbonization of coke is represented by conversion of coal into coke in the absence of air so option d next is 72 only bituminous can be converted into coke correct option of 73 should be option c 74 should have correct option c polycrystalline next is from solid part B should be the correct answer. Question number seventy-six. Ionic crystals should be the answer. For seventy-seven, the correct option should be C. Modulus of resilience. 
the indication for a material's resistance to brittle fracture when a crack is present should be fracture toughness. Next correct answer should be option B, equilibrium phase diagram. Then question number 80. Option A, hardenability curve. The long chain polymers exhibit viscoelastic behavior. Question number 82. B should be the correct one. For 83, service temperature should be the correct option. For 84, galvanic corrosion will be the correct option. For most of the automobiles, internal combustion engine use the HSD, high speed diesel. By cracking gas oil, we get light furnace oil. Next, naphthalene is designated as aromatics. Question number 88. Example of a byproduct gases is blast furnace gas or BF gas. Next will be dry natural gas, then bottled gas, which is also known as LPG, is prepared from natural gas and refinery gas. Question number 91 should give the correct option A. 92 is a repetition of question or set apparatus should be the right option. Now for 93, I think the correct option should be primary combustion. I was confused between these two options, but in case of pre-combustion, volatile matter can be released but not burned. So volatile matter here it is burned, so primary combustion period should be the correct option. For next question, chemisorption or desorption is the process. Then for 95, option A should be the correct option. For 96, graking acid test can measure the cooking property of coal. Answer for next numerical will be option A. Question number 98, it was asked in GSI prelims, either in last year or the year before that. So option D will be the correct option. For question number 99, correct option should be option D. For 100, the correct option should be option A. For question number 101, correct option should be option A, oceans. Now question number 102 and question number 108. These two questions are essentially the same questions. If you know the correct statements made by Kelvin Planck and Clausius regarding second law of thermodynamics. So for question number 8, correct option will be option A and for question number 2, the correct option should be option B. Now for question 103, the correct answer should be option C. For ideal gas state mixture, statement 1, 2 and 4 are correct. So option C should be the correct option. For question number 105, D will be the right option. 106 has the right option C that is 1 only. Relation between Erickson cycle and Carnot cycle denotes that both 1 and 2 are correct. So option B will be the correct one. Then question number 109, B should be the correct product. Tropilium ion should be a 7 membered ring with a positive charge and aromatic nature. In question number 111, then the next question is about UV. Phenoxide ion shows higher lambda max than phenol thus are red shift. Then for the next question, question number 113, dichlorocyclopentane shows 7 isomers including the stereoisomers. D-glucose units joined by alpha-1,4 glycoside linkage. Next question 115. Tryptophan contains heterocyclic ring of indole. Next one will be seen addition only. Then for SN2 reaction, complete inversion of configuration happens. Nitrine intermediate is shown by four reactions. L, S, C, H. Remember like this. L for Lawson, S for Schmidt, C for Curtius and H for Hoffman rearrangements. They all show nitrine intermediate generation. So A will be the correct option. 119 will have correct option C, carbon ion. And last question, how many chiral centers are there in the open chain structure of D-glucose? So there are, so I hope you all did well in the examination. Though the number of questions from chemistry were less, but still 40 to 45 questions in my opinion was doable. Now what about the cutoff? For cutoff, we need to know when the previous GSI assistant chemist examination were conducted and what was the cutoff then. So as far as I know, GSI assistant chemist examination was conducted in 2018 
and as well as in 2016 in case of 2018 there were 11 posts of assistant chemist the seats were divided into 10 general and one reserved category total 11 number of candidates appeared in the cbrt was approximately 2.5k and the cutoff for unreserved category was 107 and this is to get a interview call but it was not sufficient because because if some student gets 50 marks in interview and 107 in written then his or her total marks would be 157 which is less than the final selection cutoff which is 174.01 and the highest marks obtained was 202 and let me remind you this 174 or 202 these marks were out of 400 that is 300 of written and 100 of interview so to get into the final selection list a good score would be 180 now subtract 50 marks for interview so 130 marks in written exam out of 300 would be considered a safe score and if each question carries 2.5 marks then how many question one has to do to get 130 marks that will be equals to 52 questions so if any student gets 52 questions correct out of 120 questions and gets minimum 50 marks in interview then he or she would be in the final merit list this analysis is to get into the final merit list but to get an interview call one needed to score 107 but to be on the safe side let's assume this time it would be 110 that is 110 so how many questions one need to get correct out of 120 questions to fetch this marks that will be 44 questions so if anyone has done 44 questions correctly out of 120 questions he or she should expect an interview call now what about the other exam which was conducted in 2016 in case of 2016 examination there were four posts of assistant chemists and those were divided into two general one obc and one category post 800 students appeared in the exam but the difference was in this case total marks of written exam were 100 and interview was also of 100 so it was 1 is to 1 whereas now it is of 300 marks and 100 marks so 75% is to 25% is the current weightage so we should not make any predictions on the basis of this cut off marks now in case of 2018 examination there were 11 posts and for those 11 posts total 43 candidates were asked for interview so 3.9 or approximately 1 is to 4 ratio students were called for interview if we apply this in current year for current vacancy then how many candidates should expect interview call currently in one advertisement there are total 22 posts of assistant chemist in gsi in another advertisement there are 6 posts and in another advertisement there is one post in cgwb central ground water board so total there are 29 posts and for those 29 seats total 116 candidates should expect an interview call so please check how many questions you have got corrected and in my opinion if you have corrected 44 to 45 questions then you should expect an interview call from the upsc and then in interview stage if you can fetch 50 marks then you will be able to see your name in the final list like this This is the final merit list of 2018 and for 2023 I wish you all the best and I hope you see your name in assistant chemist list or any other competitive examination final merit list all the best and thanks for listening